How to make a girl hate you. Respect her, take care of her, a fast reply is always available for her. Then she'll leave you soon. Yeah, cause nothing says I'm lonely but love me like vandalism. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys because these dudes be more persistent than gnats in the middle of summer. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, start up them whole some internet discussions and make a good friend and if you have not already subscribe and turn on those notifications okie dokie let's go exclusive plymouth pew man was 23 year old virgin who posted rambling youtube videos complaining he was too fat and ugly to have s and boasted about being a terminator before killing five including a girl five then shooting himself dead jake davidson 23 a bodybuilder obsessed with not being attractive to women obsessed with not being attractive to women named a local as the killer. He spoke of affinity with incel movement whose misogyny members have carried out mass murder in the US and let me guess they're gonna idolize him too now aren't they? I did not know you could be obsessed with not being attractive. I thought it would always be nice to look nice. Him feeling brave he finally asked her do you even like me? Her sorry I only date guys who are six foot seven but we could still be friends right? This says a lot about society. Look if you're only reason to not date someone is because of their height like that's a little weird but making a meme whining about it is even worse riddle me this girls you expect men to approach you and make the move first eg approaching at bars offering the two visit cafes and go out for drinks etc however you also see men who encourage meeting to get to know you better and try to build the friendship assumed desired by both sides as creeps could someone explain this to me? Is it a case of, is the man hot, then it's confident, but if the man is ugly or doesn't message a desired, then it's creepy? I think it all really comes down to, like, if you're going to ask somebody out, maybe clean yourself up first, because uh, don't complain if they don't want to date the garbage pile. I don't think guys in their 20s who are upset about having no relationships are upset because they feel like they're owed a relationship. I think it's more because they feel like they deserve it. Now, I'm not saying some deserve it anymore more or any less than somebody else. But I think what is most commonly misunderstood is that people complain in the sense that they feel some sort of ownership over somebody else. I think most human beings can safely feel even in their most angering and toxic moments in their life, which by the way, we are all guilty of whether for relationships or not. No one is perfect and we all feel for one reason or another. No one feels entitled to anything. I think this is a projection from others who feel like they earned their relationship in some way, which is just as bad as telling someone they are entitled, and constantly jumping to that accusation with no real evidence of their entitlement, just feelings of upset and sexual frustration, is a really showing of the person you are rather than them. I think it's because they feel like they are deserving of it. They see all of the taller and more handsome guys who have barely had to lift a finger for the girl to be attracted to them, while guys who are less advantageous in life have tried for so long to improve their efforts while still receiving little to no result. So in my opinion, as someone who has experienced this also, I think this is a natural reaction to feeling so helpless and so inferior to other men who seem to be feeling so much success all the time while dating. That's why people become aggressive when you accuse them of entitlement because you just look like an entitled a-hole yourself more than they do because they know it takes a lot to succeed and have tried and spent so long trying. This is also more so something I was thinking of while I was reading this. Uh, if you lose weight either to spite someone or for the purpose of getting girls, uh, sure, that may work, but in the end it doesn't work, you're going to lose all your motivation and be back where, you back where you were in the beginning. If you go to improve yourself for the sake of your own well-being, there's nobody that's going to turn you down and not really a way for you to lose motivation. Weirdly enough, it actually had me remembering the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World movie and like the final power up being the power of love versus the power of self-respect and the self-respect one had so much more buffs to it. But yeah, I don't know where I got off on that tangent, but bottom line, improve yourself for the sake of improving yourself, not for the sake of getting something else or thinking that you deserve something else just because you've improved your situation. There's a movie playing in your location. <laughs> you wanna see it? Whoops, I just saw this. You mean tonight? <laughs> what movie? Yeah, G.I. Joe and Suicide Squad are playing. Oh, I wanna see Suicide Squad. Can you get to Assembly Row and 
15 minutes, a super casual and nothing fancy. And probably like 20-ish, should we just try to plan something for a different time? Here's my number. I don't like to exchange numbers before meeting. I've had several unpleasant experiences. Block? I mean, yeah, I could, but I'd rather not feel uncomfortable with it. Same. P.S. Uh, don't see this as a date. I'm just here to meet interesting people like me bio says. LOL, your bio doesn't say that, but okay. I'm looking for a relationship, not trying to rush anything, but... If you're not looking for that in the long run, we're not looking for the same thing. I don't like to talk about relationships before meeting. I've had several unpleasant experiences. Right. Well, it sounds like we are fundamentally different then. I mean, yeah, I could, but I'd rather not feel uncomfortable with it. Yeah, okay, I'm done with this BS. Good luck with whatever it is you are looking for. Double standards? LOL, no, but I don't feel like being poorly manipulated manipulated by someone that's just throwing my words back at me, the last of which you copy and pasted doesn't even make sense in the context. Are you saying you are upset with your own words? No, I'm saying you copy and pasting them as responses to things that literally don't make sense is really stupid, and continuing to try to convince me otherwise is a poor attempt at manipulation, so you can go ahead and F off. No need to harass me on here. You can't force me to date you. you you have to respect my wishes. I really don't want to date you. <laughs> Again, good luck with whatever it is you are looking for. Yeah, dude trying to still act slick. He's the only type of dude right now that could roll a 20 in D&D and hit a zero. Plus also, you're trying to act smart when obviously you're not, because seriously, you don't even know what the definition of double standards is, my dude. Not only that, but on top of the fact that all of this pissiness started over the fact that the dude wanted her number, when even, even though they had already started a conversation, conversation like what what's wrong with keeping the conversation going on the app you guys met in the first place until you actually do the date all of you disgust me. I want them guts and them afterwards. You can order an Uber, since after all, you are an independent woman who doesn't need a man. So yeah, I'll dig out them guts for you, and then send you right back home where you can be alone at. You women ask the same thing. It's so weird. LOL. No one heard me. My about me is rude no matter what. I play zero games with women, and you can try me in person, wherever. Prettiness, kitty, booty, boobs, don't move me. I won't lie, it is an amazing, but this, I personally view women as beneath me. Not that I'm a total donghead, because I actually am very nice. He's in, boys! He did it! He said but I just see it that way. I've never understood how a dude can comment and pedestalize a woman. You do seem great. I never said you weren't. We just met. So you believe you're more superior than women? Absolutely. Physically, mentally, everything. We as men go through heck to earn our spot in life. A woman is born with value. How pretty she is, naturally. A man has to fight his way to any success. A social status, everything. Yeah, I'm honestly starting to come to realize that Bumble posts from nice guys honestly are just becoming a guilty pleasure of mine because it's it's like you know you read all the terms of how it works and then you still mess up. Because anybody that doesn't know how Bumble works, for any matches where it's a guy and a girl talking, the girl has to be the one to start the conversation, which means there was actually something going in the first place, and then this dude screwed it up. I hate dealing with snobby girls. I've messaged several women on Facebook asking if I could take them out to dinner, and none of them replied. How do you just not reply? They didn't even say no. I'm offering to pay you for your dinner wherever you want to go, and you don't even acknowledge me? It's okay, I'll find a woman who appreciates me. I grew up with snobby, stuck-up girls who thought they were better than everyone, and I hate it because most of my teenage memories are of me trying to measure up to snobby girls who would never give me the time of day. Some women just think that you're 
are even unworthy to talk to them. They find it offensive. Those are the kinds of women I grow up with and keep running into. And you're still not willing to point the finger at yourself. Dude, maybe some of their attitude rubbed off on you because I'm feeling a little bit of snob coming off of this whole post itself. Honestly, I would just be glad they didn't mark me down as free food in their contacts. I work a full time as a valet and a bellman for a five-star hotel here. A kudos if you can guess which one, lol. I park cars like they are mine. Broke ones stay away. If you say you aren't materialistic, then where'd you get that phone, girl? It takes years to actually get to know someone, so no expectations on this POS app. Anyone else get the F it as bad as me? I doubt it, but F it. Hit me up or not. Hashtag dead boy, hashtag can't feel ass, hashtag self made. Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's dudes like this that are the reason that a lot of high end sports cars get exclusive valet keys that put into a limp mode while you're using it. Because honestly, anybody that says I drive it like it's my, nah, dude, you drive it like you stole it. But I mean, on the bright side, you posting that you're a bellman for a five star hotel knows that they can just avoid that one and then avoid you entirely. Nice dude. Okay, so I'm a little upset right now. I really feel like I'm a good guy. I respect and want them to be comfortable. I recently met this girl and she's amazing. We spent so much time together over the last two weeks. Now another guy rocked up about four days ago. She meant I met him. Sure, he can be funny, but but he's the biggest F to Jackie and incredibly toxic to her. But effing yet, she seems to enjoy his company. I really don't care about S. I want to take her out, spoil her, help her reach her goals. I just want the best for her, and I really do care about, even though we only know each other for less than a month, I get it's too early, and I get attached too quickly, I'm aware of that. I really just don't understand why I always get swept under a rug all the effing time. I'm I'm so done. And with that last dum-dum, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.